So today I'm going to be doing my Japanese um, beauty product haul. Um, my boyfriend just came back from Japan and he brought me a lot of really nice goodies. Yeah, so I'll just show you what I've got. Okay, so the first two products are hair dyes and these are the prettier or least prettier hair dyes which I've been using for quite a long time. About three years ago I first dyed my hair with the colour in milk tea brown using the least hair dyes and I found that it was really good for my hair. Um, not because it was healthy for my hair but more that it actually changed the colour of my hair without bleaching it and yeah, since then I've always liked the Lee's um, brand, so it's really good that he got me two packs of this. This one is the, I don't know the actual colour name, it's all in Japanese, but I'll put the names of these colours um, after I research them, after I film this video. So yeah, I've got these two colours. The next thing I've got is this Hello Kitty um, eyeliner pencil, it's a brown one. Yeah, I've been kind of obsessed with Hello Kitty since quite a few years ago, so I think it's really cute. It's an eyeliner pencil like this. It's an all eyeliner pencil. And it's got this really cute Hello Kitty at the top, and it's got a mirror at the back, which is really useful. It's a very tiny mirror, but it's helpful for when I want to move. I can also pull it off and move it to a different pencil, so it'll be good for traveling. The next group of products are all um, Dolly Wink products, so you might have heard of it before, I wouldn't be surprised. Dolly Wink is a really popular brand in Japan and all over YouTube, so I'm really excited to finally get to try some of these products which I've been wanting for a long time. So the first product from Dolly Wink that I've got is this um, mascara, it's a black mascara in the volume collection and it is in the new packaging, I think it used to have a purple and pink coloured packaging before, but now they've changed it to black. And I really like this one, it looks really um, cl classic looking. I'll just open it up so you guys can see. I've already used it and I'm actually wearing it right now. I'm not sure if you can see, but it's made a huge difference in the um, visibility of my eyelashes. Generally, my eyelashes are not. Um, particularly visible because they're quite small and straight. Of course it has the typical Tsubasa. Yeah, it just looks like this. It's a really pretty um, container. It looks really expensive. <laughs> just open that up for you. And the brush is really interesting. It's a flat brush, but it is quite thin. The bristles are really short and the brush is sort of it looks wide here, but then you turn it this way and it's actually really thin. So it's really good for precision. I find that I can apply it a lot easier than um, my Maybelline Falsies mascara, which has quite a big brush. So this one is more suited to my type of eyelashes. The next product is the, of course, the Dolly Wink eyeliner, and this one is in the new packaging. So they've changed the packaging which is a bit disappointing for me because I actually really like the old packaging but this one's not too bad either and I've read a lot of re good reviews about this product. I'm sure everybody's heard how hyped up it is um, so I'm excited to try it out. It's probably similar to my current eyeliner by Clio which is also a liquid liner. So I'm expecting good things with it but I'm not expecting too much. Hopefully it's good. I'll probably use it after I run out of my Clio eyeliner because I don't want it to dry up. Dolly Wink is really well known for their false eyelashes so I'm really excited to use them. I generally just use the cheap ones from eBay so I'm looking forward to these ones. So here's the first one. It's, by, it's called Sweet Cat. And these are upper lashes, they're quite dramatic um, compared to what I usually would wear. So I'll probably use that for a special occasion. Next one is Feminine Girl. And these lashes look really pretty, they're crisscrossing lashes so they should look pretty natural. And these ones are also bottom lashes, these are um, natural cute. I'm really looking forward to these ones because they look extremely natural from the pictures and the reviews I've read so I'm excited to try these out. And I don't really wear um, false lashes that often, only on special occasions so I'll have to find an occasion to try these out. 
thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed this um japanese beauty haul thank you guys so much for subscribing see you guys later